channel. My name is Cheyenne. For everyone who's new here, welcome. And in today's video, we'll be doing a DIY project. And you know your girl love a good DIY project. So we'll be making stove top covers today. And I'm super excited to actually make this project and it come out as good as it did. Uh, just a little backstory on why I decided to make this project. I have it on so, Pinterest and I'm just like, I like that. I want that. So, so I'm looking at this market, market and I just happen to, you know, see someone selling it. So I'm looking through their pictures and I'm looking at different options and whoa, the prices, y'all was mm -mm. people were selling these things for a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Granted, I definitely understand, you know, it is you took your time to make it and it is it's not super time consuming, but it's somebody else's time. So I understand making money. But yeah, so um, I definitely was like, I can make this for cheaper. So that's what I did. So I went to Lowe's and um, I got my, actually, did I get a Lowe's or home? One of those. But I knew I could make it for cheaper. So I spent about $15 for the wood and my handles that I chose were $6. You could choose whatever handles you want. Of course, this is customized. So whatever you choose is what you can get. Take the measurements length and width of your stove. Uh, this is for electrical top so if you have a gas top there are ways that you can make them but this video is specifically for the flat surface uh stoves but yes i'm super excited and if you're interested in making your own by the end of this video i promise you you're gonna end up at lowe's or home depot buying some wood so yes yeah, stay tuned and let's get started here's a list of items that you'll need for this project And this step right here, all we did was use a piece of tape so we can measure where we need to put the holes to so we know it. where to screw in the handles. And of course, you want to make sure you do it for both. Make sure they're uh, nice and even, and then you place the tape down and make your dots. You want to use a drill bit and drill those holes. I decided to use spray paint instead of wood stain just because I didn't want to uh, sand down the wood. And I also spray painted these panels first because these are where my handles would go. So my sister just had to put her two cents into something, but thank you, sis. So right here, she's using a flat head um, drill bit is basically making like the depth of the hole because the handles that i chose are actual cabinet handles and they're not top screw so once i screw the handles on it'll be a, a flat surface so right here you'll see so it's nice and flush so right here, I'm just getting started with finding the design that I want to use and I'm using my Cricut machine and I'm going to get this set up and ready to cut out. So this is the Cricut machine and this is how it's used. If you don't have one, I highly suggest that you get one. You can make so many different things with this machine and I absolutely love it. Back to business. Okay, so right here, all I'm doing is pre-making the holes for my screws to go through. Usually you shouldn't have to do this, but for some reason, I think because I was going underneath, my screws weren't going straight through. So I just made like pre-holes just so the uh, screws will go through easier. As you can see, without the pressure being on there, the nail didn't stay, but once I had pressure, it went straight in. And this toolbox that I have sitting on top of my wood, I'm only using this because I didn't glue the wood together prior to. I will recommend um, to just use wood glue and glue the uh, panels together. 
So I used two screws on each end and then in the middle I used one screw on each panel. As you can see, like the wood is kind of slipping back. Uh, if you use the wood glue, that would kind of prevent it from doing that, but I made it work. Since my sister is in the background cooking dinner and making cakes and all that other stuff she wanted to do, I had to call my nephew over so he could put some pressure on. But after all of that, we are just about done. Yes, look at that. Nice and secure. Spray paint. What I did was I spray painted one coat and then I let it dry for about a good 30 minutes. Oh, and also don't forget, since my handles are on, I put tape on the handles just so the spray paint won't get on. And then this is the second coat. Get everything nice and even, even as possible. And then I let that dry for a good, another 30, 45 minutes before I started to put the actual decal on. This is the decal that I cut out using the Cricut machine. It is vinyl, so I'm using, it's basically self-adhesive vinyl. And you just place it on there, get it nice and even, put everything how you want, and hi. voila. Hi. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. You got anything else to say? What you want to say? Say hi. <laughs> say bye. Say So next I'm gonna use Mod Podge. You can get it from Walmart, Michaels, or any just local craft store. And basically I'm using this as a sealant. And I was just gonna do where I put the vinyl, but I ended up doing the entire thing just so it wouldn't have an outline or anything like that once it dried. 